This is the fourth expedition that the Post with Tricks of Trevitz and College have done. Each year we do an environmental theme and again this year we've used the WaterWise theme. This trip is not just about the Post with Tricks of Trevitz and doing something exceptional. It's about them being able to give back to the communities and to be able to raise awareness about the, the resource of water and the other issues that surround it from an environmental impact point of view. Now, as we set here out, we're not quite sure what we're going to be met with in terms of weather point of view. Uh, and yeah, we know it's going to be hot, it could be humid, it could rain, the wind could blow. But the other challenges are, as we get tired, how is the group going to interact with each other? We know that the wild coast is going to be a challenge and we know that we need to be fit and we need to be prepared, not just from a physical point of view, but also from a mental point of view. You know, the battle's always won in the mind, they tell us. Even when the legs are screaming in pain, then we can still push our bodies further. So my bike just, I tried to dodge it, but too late and then it just got stuck in the water and I went flying towards the other side. <laughs> so I'm just grazed all along here and my hands as well. That's okay. I should be okay, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So day, day one and you guys are all injured already. I know. Today is going to be hopefully a fairly easy day, introduction to this amazing challenge and experience that these young adults will be doing. We're going to be going down on a dirt road, uh, heading off the main road down to a camp called Mtentu River Lodge. And as we get close to the coast, it will become a little bit more sandy and rocky and rugged, preparing us slowly for what's going to be in the next week in store for us. Uh, we look forward to it. It's not hot today. The clouds are breaking, so finally it seems that this wild coast is going to be drying out. We've had all sorts of terrain. We've gone through marsh. We've hiked our bikes up and over and through mud, grass, trees, cliffs, you name it. Good so far. Track's getting better. Sun's shining. <laughs> but my bum feels like tenderized steak now. <laughs> so many bugs everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. You should totally do it. I don't know why can't people do this anyway. Oh, let's go riding in the, in the, the berg or what, whatever this thing is. Let's get mud everywhere. Let's eat bugs. <laughs> it's been a tough day, but it's been a good day. Uh, the bodies are sore and tired, but the attitude and keenness of these young men and women are very, very strong at the moment. It's been a long day in the sun, we had a bit of rain, but we're nearly over and I'm looking forward to to another full day tomorrow. That is so <laughs> They say it kind of uh, compares to childbirth, so you've got something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> We have just come across from our, our camp, which is in the background, in the trees. A uh, lovely ca drifters camp here. We're busy just trying to fit the last few things into, into the trailer so we can get it nice and closed. Uh, to start off today, we've got a 15 kilometer cycle out of here to where we'll meet up with the bus and load up our bicycles. We can head back to Lusiki Siki. It was like a 12k uphill cycle, no downhills whatsoever. It was awful. And through the middle it started raining, which was actually very comforting. Uh, okay, we're going to 
cycled 24 k's now on our way to Manteku. Uh, they said it's about um, most of the way is downhill, so that will be very appreciated. The road is absolutely wonderful compared to what we've been riding on, and quite a few apples. Didn't expect that many, uh, but there's going to be quite a few downhills now, so a lot easier. Going a lot faster than we've been doing the rest of the day. The plan for tomorrow is to go do the first school visit, visit which is at night, for two hours. We've got two hours um, set aside. Second school visit is half an hour after that, a little bit down the road, and from there we're going to drive down towards Sports and John's. We're planning to meet six schools along the way, and at each school, the post for Tricks have developed a resource program where they're able to interact and engage with some of the younger learners. Here's the rivers, goes up into the air, it makes rain and then it comes down again back into the same river. So you use the same water over and over and over again. So it's all the same, you don't get new water. All those small tiny droplets get pulled up and you see the clouds in the sky that we have now, those are tiny water droplets that have all come together and it's almost going to rain because the clouds are full now. Can you see the water on the page? You see? You see how little and small they are? Small drops. Yeah, very small drops. Can you see? Hot. See? So this is what the sun pulls up into the, the sky. Can you see it? Hey, so a long time ago there was two valleys, one valley which did not look after the water. They threw all their litter in the water. They did all their washings in the river. They got very sick. <coughs> in the other valley, they threw their rubbish in the bin. They did their washing outside the river. <laughs> and 
and they went to the toilet in the art house. And when they drank the water, they got big and strong. Oh, I can do anything. I'm so happy that you have visited our schools. There will be a difference in our children and you have motivated us as teachers how to handle the lessons. We are so happy. We are, thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you guys. You. Very, very hectic. Okay, I feel stopping was very tempting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we just push through and hopefully it's downhill from here. But yeah, I haven't Welcome cycled up a hill like that <laughs> ever. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have man legs and man arms. I was expecting a rather nice downhill. I checked it, it was about a K uphill. Rather fun. Courtney and I didn't stop. Courtney's a beast. <laughs> Yeah, should be a, hopefully a 3k downhill from now. Oh, let's just go. Woo! Shake it out, shake it out. Shake it out, walk it out. I'm gonna have a sit down. Ah, it's a big one! Come on, come on. Guys, remember when you use the shower? 
this shower would restart because we don't have much enough water in a, in a, in a, in a September. Yeah. ready to start our ride today. We've got about 34 k's to go to Kureka and from there we're going to do a six hour walk to our accommodation. We're running a slightly behind schedule today. This morning it just bucketed down its rain. The roads are really wet and we're, where we stayed last night at the homestay it's very thick black mud and we had some fun and games getting out of there. The group's a little bit tired at the moment but I think once we get going and get into a rhythm everything will be fine. The sun is breaking through, so it's going to be like riding in a sauna later, I think, with the humidity. But that's what it's all about, adventures um, for us to tackle head on. But now we're going for a 34k cycle. So I'm like, let's hope the weather stays like this, the rain doesn't carry on coming. I mean, we don't know what the terrain's like, hopefully it's flattish, not too much uphill. But yeah, I'm sure we'll all push through. We started at Mdumbi Backpackers, which is a really great place to stay. We did a nice casual walk along the beach, crossed over the Mtata River mouth with the ferry. And then from there we met up with our backup crew, got into our bikes. And I tell you, from Coffee Bay to the hole in the wall, there are so many hills and they're steep but uh, there's a really great vibe amongst the post tricks at the moment and we're just so tough to be here. It's a fantastic place at the moment. We're having our lunch, we're getting ready for the last leg of today. We're walking between six and eight k's to, to our homestay this evening. I'm hoping we're gonna get there quite early and we're gonna have a well-deserved rest this afternoon before we carry on with our expedition tomorrow. So you stop the vehicle in one of the little valleys and the wind's pumping up from the left hand side. So Craig sort of takes his stance, casual walk. <laughs> the legs separate. And he, just before he's about to urinate, he realizes that the wind's blowing up towards him. So he turns around and walks. It's going to be a very early morning tomorrow. Hop us four, wake up, leave here at six. Four hour car trip, seven hour walk.
come a long way since we left Port Edward. We faced a lot of different weather conditions. We faced the beach. We've been on in the rain with the mud. We've hiked our bikes up and down hills. We've walked across goat and cattle paths that very few people actually get to walk. And we've seen some fantastic beaches. We're on to our penultimate day. Uh, it's lunchtime here. We're at uh, Wavecrest Hotel. We're going to head off on a walk now um, down towards Trenaries. It's amazing to think that this this trip's almost at an end. Uh, this is our second last day. Hello, camera. <laughs> We've had a really rough trip, I mean it has been 9 days of pushing ourselves, hard walks on the beaches, the riding has been really tough, uphills have been killing everyone, we've had a lot of injuries, uh, everyone's a bit tired now, it's been a great trip, um, I think everybody's enjoying it even though some of us might be in pain, lactic acid's kicking in, but it's, it's been good. How much? 15 rand. 15? Okay, I want 10. I want 10. Yes. Take it. Five for boys, five for girls. Thank you. Thank you. What's that cool? And what we've just done now, we, we bought some bead bracelets. And at the end of the trip, we're going to give it to the Post with Tricks. And they're going to be able to take it as a reminder of their great achievement that they've done on this trip. head out on our last little cycle down to the Great Kai River which sort of marks the southernmost tip of the of the wild coast in its wildest form. Now I'm really chuffed that it's over. One last little downhill and see the Great Kai River. I'm really proud of us all and we did it! Know that you've done something fantastic and great in whatever you've done, whether it was the physical stuff or the backup crew. The reason why we came on the Wild Coast is because it was a challenge. Life is a challenge, not just the environmental aspect, but we are faced with challenges all the time, whether it's in our family, in our workplace, sorting out the environment issues or the social inequalities that we see. We've crossed a lot of different terrains on this trip. We've ridden on beaches, we've crossed dunes, we've climbed over hills, we've swum rivers, we've waded rivers. We've experienced a whole lot of different things with the weather from pouring rain to thunderstorms to the wind yesterday to the blistering sun. We've also grown as individuals. 